So as requested by a few people, we're just going to show the oscilloscope mode on the Steam 303 by all tools. We're going to show it on a Zero Transit 2.2, that's a crank no start, and we're just going to use your camshaft sensor signal. Um, just the easiest thing to get at in this transit really. So we've taken the DM303 by all tools and we've connected it up. So we've connected it up with our voltage and our comp and we're going to our sensor sensor ground and then sensor signal uh, which is orange and blue and orange and green <coughs> so we've also removed our starter reader and we're just going to cross it um, just while we're doing the test here because it's just um, just easier so we're going to turn our auto dm 3 on we're going to our volts So let's see the voltage. We're going to go press the FN twice, key twice. And we're on our oscilloscope mode. So up and down is our voltage. Left to right is our time. So I'm going to go with one second for the moment. And we've just got to watch the screen. see we do have a waveform so we can stop that waveform we should be able to hold that waveform no we can hold it here oh, we can hold it yeah so hold it keep it pressed on oh, no, no. sorry so we can hold the waveform so we can clearly see we have something um we're on two volts so i presume two four probably yeah probably eight probably four point something volts or two four and then probably four point two volts maybe a bit higher um <coughs> We won't class that, at least we can see that we've got a waveform. So what I'm gonna do now at the moment is next sorry, the next step is I'm going to reduce increase the reduce the time to a faster time. So I'm gonna hold it. That's too fast. So we've got a hundred milliseconds. Same again, we're just going to cross the start reader. So as you can see, we do have a waveform. Um, we can set a trigger, but I still haven't really figured it out. But I'll just give it a go, and we'll see what happens. And there's a plus four. Yeah, so it's kind of five, six, seven. This is probably the height of it. I'll try minus values on the trigger. can press hold. Um, we can reduce the time a bit more and get a bigger kind of picture on the screen. So you can see we do get a bigger picture but it's kind of hard to capture. But yeah, that's just a simple basic oscilloscope test with using a camshaft sensor. Just to show that there is a signal coming out of that sensor. Obviously you need a <coughs> deeper oscilloscope to um to verify that camshaft signal properly. I'm sure we'll use the Pico to do that in shortly. Um but yeah, that's just the R2's DM303 oscilloscope mode.